innovators. Watch out, because SEPTA says they lose millions of dollars because of actions like these. Uh -huh. This is video from New York. But the problem happens in Philly, too. You can just see how easy it is. You just... Well, when I used to do... I mean, <laughs> if I've ever done it, it, there's a way to leap over it, you know? I mean, it, like aggressive jumping. If yeah, you're how athletic. are they getting through? Are they just pushing through? See, there oh, you there go. you go. Mm-hmm. Well, that's not oh, good. Oh, well, no, that, we don't that's want to be doing that. Story. Oh, there's another jumper. Yeah, that's, so. that's the normal technique. You use two hands and get both legs over at once. Well, it may not be normal anymore because starting You'll today, SEPTA is opening several new full-length fare gates at the entrance for the Market Frankfurt line at 69th Street, and this is going to change the game for folks. Marcus. Let's get out Samson. to our fair jumper. I mean, let's get out to our reporter, Marcus. <laughs> I, I always pay my fares because I can't jump that high, okay? <laughs> so that's just what I have to do. Now, these new turnstiles that are going to go in here and debut at 11 o'clock at 69th Street Station, if we can look at the video right now, we have a picture of it as well. They're brand new. These things are substantial. You are not getting up, down, around these. The only way you're getting through is if you pony up the bucks and you decide to pay to try to get on here. So they they will be revealing this at 11 o'clock today. We'll have cameras there for that. Of course, the CEO of SEPTA is going to be there as well to take questions and explain why they're doing this. They're going to treat this as like a test pilot, Mike and Alex. They're going to they're going to take a look at data over a certain period of time, see how it goes, see if it in fact increases their revenue and, and decreases folks from getting around not paying uh, for the service that they are using. Also, there are 3D sensors uh, involved in these as well, which can uh, sense whether or not that person is in a wheelchair or if there are other sort of accessibility needs that uh, need to be addressed for that person trying to get through. So it's also trying to serve that aspect as well there. So the only question I have is, Mike, how many turnstiles have you jumped in your life? Now, maybe uh, when I maybe didn't have my card with me in New York mm -hmm. and I right. had to get someplace. Right. I you had might, no choice. Just, I might have waited for somebody to come out the gate and then run in. But, I, but sure. in an emergency. Yeah. Sure. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Uh, so what, what are people doing up to 11 o'clock? Well, I think they're going they're going through the regular ones right now. Going they're not the even ones. in use yet. So yeah. they haven't activated them yet. Yeah. Uh -huh. Right. So, you well, know, hey, you know, we're not trying to encourage any <laughs> bad behavior until no, 11 o'clock. No. <laughs> no. <laughs> right? Sure, we're the not. one okay. time I did it, right. I didn't have my card. The one time. Right. Yeah. All right. Thank you, yeah. Marcus.